What's up GSAP, it's Zuna here with another tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to send a 3D print. First and foremost, if you haven't taken a walk down to the woodshop or makerspace, which are both located together on the first floor of the Schirmerhorn building, I would recommend you do so in order to understand what you're actually sending your file to. At GSAP, we use the Prusa Mark II and III printers. It's important to understand how the 3D printers work in order to send printable files with minimal error, which can be common in some cases. If you have any questions about whether or not your file is sufficient to 3D print or how you could develop it into a printable model, don't be afraid to come to the shop and ask a monitor for assistance, like me. Great, so if you've visited the makerspace at least once, then step one is complete. Let's first set up our model from Rhino. We want to start by typing in units in the command line to make sure they're on millimeters because that's what all the printers operate on. Type in bounding box to determine the dimensions of the model to confirm that it fits in the Prusa bed volume, which is 250 by 250 millimeters and 210 millimeters tall. These numbers fit in that range, so we can go ahead and delete this box and begin converting the NURBS object to a mesh, which is the form all your print models should be exported as. Depending on how complex your model is, you can adjust the number of polygons, but I'm just going to keep mine in the middle. Once you deselect everything, use the cell mesh command to select your mesh and type in export to export it. You want to save this file as an STL and title it correctly. Once you press save, another dialog will come up asking if you want to export it as a binary or an ASCII file. We're going to go with binary file. And then that's it. You're halfway there. Okay, the next thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and head over to 3dprinteros.com. Here, you want to log in or create an account using your Columbia credentials. 3D Printer OS is a server that allows students to connect to the makerspace printers, Formlabs and Prusa alike, and send files to a queue that our monitors then check for errors and send them to the machines if they're all good. Students can upload files, send them to the printers, and watch the updated queue. If you're creating an account for the first time, the first thing you want to do is connect to the Makerspace printers by going to Printers in the main menu, click More, and then click Add Workgroup Printers. It'll ask for an access code, which I'm going to write in big, bold letters on the screen. So make sure you pause this and screenshot. Type this code in, connect to the workgroup, and there you go. Now you can see both the Formlabs and Prusa print queues, along with some of the other printers in the shop. Great, so you've connected to the printers. Let's move on. Now that you're connected to the printers, you can upload your STL file that you exported from Rhino by adding it to your account. Click on Upload from the main menu, choose the file, and click Save and Go to My Files. Once it's uploaded, Click on the repair button and select your printer type, which is Prusa Mark III, and make sure all three of the options are selected. Press fix and 3D Printer OS will generate a new file. We're gonna go ahead and lay out the repaired file by selecting the layout button. When the layout screen shows up, make sure that it's set on the correct printer by looking at the top left corner of the screen. If a different printer is selected, you can go to the printer option on the top menu and there, select Prusa Mark III. Unlike the Formlabs, you're going to want to lay out your model for efficient and error-proof printing. You can try out the optimal orient operation that the 3D printer OS provides, or orient it based on your own judgment. If you're unsure about a complicated model, it doesn't hurt to ask a monitor or someone familiar with 3D printing. But for here, everything looks good, so we can click Save or Save and Slice, and it'll automatically bring us to the Slicer option. This will be the final step before uploading your file to the queue. So it's very important to understand the Slicer dialog and the options that are listed on the screen. First, what you want to do is double check and make sure your printer type is set to Prusa Mark III and that the material is on PLA. We don't have any other filament besides PLA, so you have to make sure that it's set on that. There are three slicer profiles already set up, which are fast, normal, and high detail. 
Fast detail has a layer height of 0.2 millimeters, normal has a layer height of 0.15, and high detail has a layer height of 0.1 millimeters. The lower the layer height, the longer your print will take, but if your model is more complex, it might be worth the wait. That rhymed. You can also adjust the infill density too, but I'm just going to keep mine at 15 as these default options almost always work for every file. Another feature that the slicer includes is the build plate adhesion type. There's three types, skirt, a brim, or a raft. Depending on how thin or how small the base of your model is, you can choose between these three options to get the best print outcome. A skirt is essentially just an outline of your model's base to avoid shifting. A brim is similar, except it fills that outline with a layer of PLA. This option would be good to allow your model to stick better to the base. And finally, a raft uses the most PLA out of the three options, essentially creating a base for your model to sit and print on. Another key feature is the supports option. In the case of this boat, I'm not going to put supports, but if your model cantilevers, has protruding elements, or is just a little complicated, supports would be your best friend. Okay, so everything looks good here. We can go ahead and click Slice or Slice and Toolpath Preview and wait until the preview pops up. You can see now how the server is processing a new G-code file of that same STL file we just laid out and sliced. This new generated file is the one we're going to send to the printer. Once the file is converted, you can click Preview and make sure the model is in good shape. We can click the Animation Play button and here you can pause and see the infill but otherwise you can keep playing it and you can see that everything looks good. So we can go ahead and click print. Because I had my printer settings for the Prusa, you should only see the Prusa student print queue, which is what we'll be uploading this file to. Before uploading though, you need to specify what color filament, clear or white, you want to be printed in the notes as to avoid any misprints and miscommunication. Once you've got that done, click Q and there you go. You can then go to the printers and see your file in the Prusa queue. You can also cancel or add notes to it. That's it. Once you've sent your file to the queue, a Makerspace monitor will check out the file, let you know if there's anything wrong with it, and if everything's good to go, they'll send it to the printer and let you know when printing has been completed. And that's all. That's all you gotta do. Now, it's time to 3D print something. Have fun.